Philly. Yes. Colleague of mine at Fox Sports, Emmanuel Acho, and former NFL player. During all of this, he launched a series called Uncomfortable Conversations with a Black Man. I love that title. Uh, incredible, by the way. right? Great title. It's had some great guests, including Matthew McConaughey. Who do you think would be a perfect guest for a show like that? I would. I honestly would love to be a guest of his. I'm, I'm not saying because I. I think McConaughey could have gone further. Emmanuel, Billy's got questions, and you've got answers. Former NFL player Emmanuel Acho is teaming up with Marcellus Wiley to host Fox Sports 1's Speak for Yourself. But right now, he's making new headlines and racking up 20 million plus views on his Instagram series, Uncomfortable Conversations with a Black Man, that has featured stars like Matthew McConaughey, as well as home renovation stars Chip and Joanna Gaines and their children. Jennifer Aniston, she reached out and just showed love to me, Ben Stiller, he retweeted the video and showed love to me. Are you surprised by the reaction that you've gotten? Yes and no. I am surprised because 23 million views on the first video now, like, like that's actually insane. Hearts are now ready, Carissa. There is an insatiable appetite for more of this dialogue, more of this content. Because you're answering questions that are uncomfortable for white people to ask. At first I was gonna call it questions white people have. But as I continued to talk to my friends, they were like, I don't want to have these combos because they're uncomfortable. So I said, let me create a safe space and allow you to have an uncomfortable conversation with the black man. Even a simple question, should we say black or African-American? Yeah. I had the exact same question. Yeah, so I've gotten so many other questions like that. The, the honest response is the accurate response, which is you call black people black. Because to say African-American, it's incorrect to some degree. Here's what I mean by that. In America, they're Jamaicans. In America, they're Cubans. And while they are black, they aren't necessarily African. Think about how so many of my dear white friends, they don't understand how to most nearly address a person. And so when there are questions that are that simple, imagine the depth of questions that are still to be answered. And you also talk in the video about incre increasing my level of understanding will increase my yes. level of compassion. The reason I started this video we, was because so many white people were like, we're here for you, my black brothers and sisters. And I'm like, you don't know why you're here. <laughs> and so I said, the only way you can truly be compassionate, sympathize, empathize, is if you know what we're fighting for. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.